Okay. I'm going to work on have a worked example here. I, I've I've worked it out in pieces so that you can get you because uh, in general this is going to be an extended problem and it's best if you cut it up into pieces. The, this first one is one that you can I'm just going to let you know if you're capable of memorizing it but I want you to it to you to start off with it okay. Uh, our first example, uh, January 1st, 1804. I'm going to be calculating this, uh, using this as my base for calculation. I'm going to calculate how many leap years occurred before that, how many Gregorian leap years occurred between the year one and before 1804. And so, we have a uh, leap year of 1804. Uh, we would have 1803 integer divided by 4, 1803 integer divided by 100, 1803 integer divided by 400. These give you 450, 18, and 4, respectively. You do the arithmetic on that and you get 436. Now, if you want to pause now, take out your calculator and verify that you know how to get these numbers, do it. Because if you don't know how to get from here to here, uh, it, 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 we need to have a good talk. All right? Just pause, check it out, and then I'll continue. Okay. Now, do another calculation. Uh, we have December 7th, 1941. I want to calculate what uh, the ordinal day of the year is. And so I have a little o ordinal day. That's what day of the year it is. So remember, you take the day of the month, it's seven. And then you, you use the table, which on the exam you will be given the, the, the table sigma gives you the number of days in a particular year that occur before that month. So January, no days occur before January, so that's zero. In December, however, okay, 334 days occur before December. Okay, so that'll be 334 goes for that right there. And so 7 plus 334 is 341. So December 7th, 1941 is the 341st day of the year. Okay, so again, the, the thing, the, the, this sigma is a function both of the month and of the year because of the leap year. Uh, 1941 is a standard year and is not a leap year. And if you don't understand how I get that, again, we need to have a good talk here before we go to exam time. But since we know it's a standard year, we use this table and calculate 334 for that number. Okay, so again, pause, make sure you understand where all the things come from. If you don't understand, we need to get together for a question. Okay. Okay. Right. Skip the page. Okay. So here on this page, we calculate the number of days that occur on our calendar before 1941. Okay back to the base date. We're basing it at the 1st of January, 1804. So how many days occur 1804, 1805, 1806, all the way up to through the end of 1940, before 1941. So we get this, it's going to be 1941 minus 1804 times 365. Okay, because every year contains 365. It's just that the leap years contain an extra day. 
And so this L right here that I add on at the end is the number of leap days, which is equal to the number of leap years, right? So my uh, 1941 minus 1804 times 365 is equal to 50,005. And I just need to find out how many leap days there are. Well, again, same as leap years. So I will, uh, and that's between the base date and 1941. So I'll, I'll count the number of leap years before 1941, and I will subtract from it the number of leap years before our base date. And so this is, again, 1940 integer divided by 4, 1940 integer divided by 100, 1940 integer divided by 400, minus this number we calculated before. Any time I use this as a base date, we'll be able to subtract that 436. So I, I do my arithmetic here, get 485 minus 19 plus 4 minus 436. Do all of my math, and I'll get 34 there. Then I add my 5,000, no, excuse me, my 50,005 to my 34 there and get 50,039. So 50,039 days occurred in my calendar before 1941. Okay. So now to calculate the big ord, that is how many days uh, from the beginning of my calendar into, uh, to December 7th, uh, 1941, I take the number of days, which I calculated, plus the ordinal day of the year. This gives me that. Uh, on, on that calendar, December 7th, 1941, is the 50,380th day. Now, I, I know that that's Sunday. I, I will be able to get that that's Sunday from this, but I, I, I'm going to have to be smart. Now, remember, I started on a Sunday, 1-1. One, one, 18.04 was a Sunday, but it's my first day of my calendar. I go to uh, December 7th, okay, 7, 7 December 1941, that's 50,038, no, excuse me, 50,380. Now, to get this where I can figure out whether this is a Sunday or not, I need to subtract one because I've started my calendar because I'm doing it as an ordinal starts at I want. So I, all of my days, I need to subtract this one from. So to make this a zero matching with Sunday, I'll subtract one from all of these for, or from any day. Here I get 50,003. 79. And I'm going to calculate what this is modulo 7. Well, what do I do? Well, I first okay, 50,379 divide that by 7 and it comes out evenly. Okay. So so there is no remainder. So this modulo 7 is equal to 0. Therefore, it is a Sunday. Therefore, this is a way of checking that your calculations work. This is sort of called, this is called a benchmark.